Greetings gamers and welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Connor Monroe and it's me. Five Nights at Freddy's has completely changed the indie game scene. The series has gotten too many games, including a VR and AR version, and it's bound to scare the hell out of you. But what creepy things have the fans come up with? That's what we're exploring with today's list of the Top 10 Five Nights at Freddy's Creepypastas. Make sure to stick around until the end for some bonus content and be sure to like and subscribe for more. Now, roll the intro. And at 10, why me? I was having my birthday party at one of the most fun places on earth. My parents were letting me have my 6th birthday at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. When we got there, my friend Brian was already there. I yelled hi and he yelled hi back. And after a few minutes, my other friend Jenny showed up. Since it was their first time here, we decided to sneak backstage, along with my other friends, to see Freddy himself. When we did, I ran over and hugged him and he hugged me back. I asked when Golden Freddy would be out and he told me in a few minutes, but to follow him and we can go get some pizza. He asked me what my name was and I told him. Him, Noah. Noah Blackley. We followed him into the room, but he was gone, and a man in a purple sweater had arrived instead. The last thing I remember is screaming as someone was banging on the locked door, and seeing my friends being put into some spare suits. I got Golden Freddy. A few years later, someone walked in looking for a job as a night guard. Someone on the phone greeted him and asked his name. He said his name was Frank Blackley. Oh my god, it, it's him. Dad! Dad, it's me! Noah! It's me! And at 9, the Fredbear virus. While refreshing scottgames.com, I was waiting for a teaser for FNAF 4, but my screen went black. After a while of waiting, I saw something flash on the screen. It looked to be a weird Fredbear. After it appeared, my computer got the blue screen of death and I had to shut it down. When I turned it back on, there were all kinds of numbers flashing by, but I swear I saw Golden Freddy's face a few times. Five minutes later, the screen was tinted red and I started hearing church bells, distorted church bells. It rang 12 times and sure enough, it was midnight. But I swear to God, it was like 3.30, 30 seconds ago. Then it showed my desktop, but the only icon was SC877 Game. Games. Eventually I clicked on it because why not? When it loaded it was a close up version of Fredbear's face and it played the jump scare audio. Text on screen said Fredbear underscore virus exe has started running and kept showing that. After saying that a few times the computer shut off and wouldn't turn back on. And at 8, Helpful Foxy. Have you ever thought about Foxy? I mean, he's a fan favorite after all. Look at the animation. When he comes into your office, he isn't attacking you, but instead, he looks like he's more so checking in. Maybe he tried to save someone and got damaged, hence the hook. So instead of spending money on the repairs, they put him behind a curtain so the other animatronics wouldn't attack him. I know this for a fact. When I was playing the first game, I forgot to check on Foxy, and when he came into my room, the game didn't end. He walked behind me and waited. I was waiting for the jump scare so I didn't continue the game. And when Chica had showed up by my window, Foxy ran out. The same sounds as when someone is in the kitchen played, and then he ran back. He did the same to Bonnie when they showed up, and when I loaded up the next night, the two animatronics were gone, but Foxy was too. And it's 7 Plus Trap. I am a huge fan of the Five Nights at Freddy's series. The wonderful world building and rich lore. I love the game so much that I collect Five Nights memorabilia and collectibles. My favorite is an exclusive Plus Trap stuffy I got at Hot Topic. It's so creepy but I love it. I have it sitting on a stool in the corner of my room. First, mistake. 4 is my favorite FNAF game, so getting it for Christmas was incredible. I asked my mom where she got it because they were so exclusive and were only out like 2 years ago. But she said that she got it from a man selling his late daughter's things because it was too painful to look at. I think I know why she died. A few nights ago I think Plush Trap started moving. He would be in different positions when I woke up, and not just because he fell over. At first I thought my dad was messing with me, but he swears he knows nothing about it. Last night I woke up and he was at the side of my bed, sitting on the ground. I don't think I can fall asleep tonight. It's like he's staring at me. It's 7 a.m. and I haven't fallen asleep. It's light out now. It should be okay, right? And it's six bells. I've been awake all night. I can't handle it anymore. The monsters are coming. They're terrifying. The teeth. The expressions, the stomachs, the monsters keep coming down the hall, the foxy keeps appearing in the closet, and the only time I know I'm safe is when those damn bells go off. The grandfather clock in my hallway. Once at 6am the monsters stop, they leave me alone. They go back to whatever corner of hell they came from. I think they're scared of it, and they know. Last night, I caught Fred trying to get into the clock. Luckily as he left, the clock rang and it was 6 again. But tonight, I'm worried. The mania starts, I run to each door, listening for sounds and to the clock. 
closet to make sure the toy stays a toy. And don't even get me started on the bed. No matter what I do, there's always something. I don't think I hear anything outside, but then crash. I look out and the grandfather clock is missing. No, it's not. It's on the ground in pieces. They smashed it, and now I have no bells to protect me. <sighs> They're coming. And at five, night eight. I thought this was a Five Nights at Freddy's game. And then there was a bonus night six with a secret night seven. And then, what's this then? A nightmarish night eight? Well, for those of you crazy enough to still like the series, I guess you'll be excited. I finished night seven and there was an option to continue. And it brought me here. I don't know how difficult it will be, but I'll let you know after I try. Update, I just finished the night. It took me three hours and multiple attempts, but I did it. The night was crazy. All animatronics coming at all times, extremely fast. Even Foxy had to be checked on every 5 seconds to keep him contained. I figured out if you don't check the hallway though, they can't register Foxy in your office. So I pulled that trick and it seemed to work. Time to get some sleep. I didn't realize how dark it was outside. Next day. Night 9? What is this game? I don't even remember waking up, let alone there being any mention of any night past 5. Whatever, might as well play it. I need to get to the bottom of this anyway. Night 12? How many nights can there be? It's gotten so bad all I can remember is this game. Whenever I register what's going on, I'm at my computer playing in the middle of the night. Wait, now that I'm really focusing, I don't see my computer. It's just the office. Oh no. And at 4, poster. I'm an artist. And being a fan of Five Nights, I also made some FNAF fan art. One of these pieces is the crying child poster from the walls of the first game. And after hanging it on my wall, it also seems to be too accurate. After hanging it up, it started changing, like the ones in the first game. My parents just thought I was changing it weekly, and in all honesty, I wish I was, because it's terrifying. My parents moved it into my room since I was changing it so often, and now I have a haunted painting sitting next to me while I sleep. Undoubtedly our most vulnerable state. I don't know how to get rid of it. I keep trying to throw it out, but it just keeps showing back up. I guess I need to handle it, but I don't know if I'll be able to sleep. And at three, I am Afton. My name is William Afton. I am doing my best to handle what's been happening to me, because I am stuck in hell. I've been cursed for my attempts to put my beautiful boy back together. Now the creatures I created in order to aid in that goal have been sent to torture me for no reason. Anyone would have tried to save their child. And if they had my technology, my mind, my brilliance, then they would have done the same as me. I keep getting told about the one I shouldn't have killed. I was the one who was killed. My boy was my life. His life was directly tied to mine, so of course I tried to get him back. How dare you try to punish me for that? Leave me to my demons! And at two, stuffed. Finally, my parents are bringing me to Freddy Fazbear's with David and Joey. When we got there, Golden Freddy was already out in the dance zone. David, Joey, and I ran over immediately because we love Golden Freddy. He was throwing tickets for the prize corner and said he had more in the back. He went to get them as we collected the remaining ones on the ground. When he took a while to come back, the other children went away. But we had just gotten there and he had left so soon, so Joey, David, and I went to go find him. We enter one of the rooms and the door closes. We turn around and see Golden Bonnie. Joey loves Golden Bonnie so he went for a hug, and got so excited that after he hugged him, he went into shock and fainted. He must have had ketchup with him because it started pulling around him. Yeah, definitely ketchup. Then everything went cold. My mom told me to keep my jacket with me, but then I see David fall over too, and then Bonnie picks him up. Then the lights go off, and I hear metal clanging together. Finally, in at number one, Golden Freddy. I got a Golden Freddy plush my last time at Freddy Fazbear's. My dad and I were working so hard to make enough tickets to do it, and we did. My plushie is my new best friend. I take him everywhere. I take him to bed, to school, daycare. It's been my one friend for the last few months. But recently, things have been getting scary. It started glowing. His eyes have little red lights going on, but I can't be sure why. There's also been a man that I keep seeing. I see him at school, I see him outside daycare, and I see him outside my bedroom window. But my dad never believes me. He thinks the big kids are trying to scare me, but I don't know anymore. Wait, Freddy's talking to me. He says battery low, and his eyes went out. What? I showed my dad and he ripped it open. He found something inside and he smashed it, but I know what it was. It was a camera. I just wonder what it was doing there. There we have it friends, the top 10 Five Nights at Freddy's Creepypastas. What did you think and which one was your favorite creepypasta on the list? I personally love number one because of all the implications. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been in Shower Man Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video. My, f my parents were letting me have my f Sixth. I keep trying to say five. And then they keep trying to say Five Nights at Freddy's instead of Freddy Fazbear's pizza.
There needs to be a compilation of just Connor versus Whistling Guy. Can we make that happen, please? Can so like if a fan wants to do it, like please send it to me on Instagram. <laughs> Why can't I speak? See, I don't even remember me. <laughs> what did Jocelyn name this light? Like Ricardo? Uh, wait, Randy. Randy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>